I'll go as Hi Theodore. How are you doing? everything that's okay I won't be going for super long anyway <laughs> you're going somewhere boring oh that's sad <laughs> I got myself some cake I know the perfect thing when you're sick Arigato! <laughs> oh thank you Kitsune for the follow <laughs> you're good hope I get better soon oh thank you Didn't, didn't stream yesterday because I was really sick last night but I'm feeling a fair bit better today thankfully I uh, took the day off work because I wasn't feeling well though <laughs> I just figure I'll play some Final Fantasy and relax <laughs> Hopefully. That is... That's the plan for today. We'll see where it takes us. Hopefully everyone else can relax too. Bahamut was Pog. Yes, it was. It was very Pog. Best part of the game so far. I think we're mostly going to be doing like small stuff and side quests and things. the vid anyways. You're very sweet, Theodore. my snack. Right. 
that was delicious. I should have taken a picture for you guys. <laughs> very warm today and also like really humid I'm dying from it <laughs> we haven't really done anything since we killed Bahamut or defeat Bahamut Boarding starting? Oh, I caught you just in time then, didn't I? Have a safe flight, Theodore. Stay safe. Did you see the path? Mm -hmm. Blackthorn. Thank you. Do you have a moment? Not really, no. This <laughs> he never has a moment. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you. And you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. <laughs> still, how dare walking, people I'll care about me? <laughs> He's just well. Karen showed me something. something Karen like again showed you before. something. And that was. <laughs> sword an odd looking thing with a single edge blade the metal itself wasn't anything to write home about Katana. but fuck me the edge on it you could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut so that's what's troubling you nah, no 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 they're not troubling me exactly more distracting can't stop thinking how do you get an edge of that sharp it's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. That would be I pretty good. Out. I would like a new Shama weapon. swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. <laughs> You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgal? So you can read. Congratulations. <laughs> but I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at I him. just realized she has like him. different color Which eyes. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? What? What was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the Lord maybe it's too hot. Think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things happen different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? <laughs> Perhaps. Wait. Seems the hideaway is lost. I have to talk to her for both. <laughs> Come here. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? How was it? <laughs> Thank you, Mary, for the prime. <laughs> bunk, bunk. Thank you, thank you. I suppose I am, <laughs> yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. 
There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. How am I feeling? I'm, 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 nice I'm much better than last night, but I'm still not 100% though. Where is it now? You I'm a bit low on energy, point, and my, my throat is still sore. To go nicking him off me, are you now? Sick and streaming? Fine. Yes. Yes. I'm just like playing that. game. Lord <laughs> just let me play Dead my game. I want to, mom. Like. Please. And he's got more money than sense, which just is for a little while. <laughs> Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dalamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's a touch eccentric. If you take my meaning. I appreciate okay, the Okay, okay. Well, thank you, mom. <laughs> oh, fuck. I dropped my, my poppin'. Are you streaming soon, Mary? I think I saw you say something in your Discord. Lawsman, I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according A bit to later, Karen, he seems to have lost I see, his appetite, I see. which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Is that why dogs eat bones? I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume that Fyodor is an airport, he is an airport, yes. To sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals whose bones may yield altogether different <laughs> As to where one might find a suitable substitute. Yes, Fyodor is technically on a plane currently. The Eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest <gasps> creatures... Kitsune, thank the you for the redeem. ...for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about... I need to get a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for the redeem. The premium hydrate. Good old big sip, exactly. Gotta make sure I don't go thirsty. Place near Cressida. Oh, a normal hydrate as well. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. <laughs> Trying to drown me. Seems the hideaway is lost. I need um need a cup of tea for my throat. You ever wonder where to help that blade? The edge on that. What's that for, you, dear? Ah, oh, a new sword. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Anything else? That's a cool looking sword. A cup of tea, exactly. More hydration. More. <laughs> We're all gonna die. You hear me? The Akashic are coming and they won't stop. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Have I been up here? What's up here?
Oh, this is nice. A little seating area. You like the chill music? House. Yeah, it's nice. Alright. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. Oh yeah, right. I forgot. I got this guy's uh, bomb ash, of course. That's the stuff. And plenty of it too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Right then. Is it a Spotify playlist? No, it's the game music. Maybe one day when the game soundtrack is on Spotify, I can I can make a nice chill playlist. <laughs> there we have it. The Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. What do I get out of this? Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? What? You make my bag magic? bigger? We happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Literally making well, the bag bigger on the inside. Not to try, I suppose. That's the spirit? Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. Why is this guy kind of creeping me out a bit? Well, what do you reckon? He it's sounds sus. Small. Yeah, he's very sus. Flexible. Right. Told you. Thank you. I think. <laughs> no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he sounds pretty sus. Did you shush the music? Is this better? <laughs> A little. Listen, I've some bad news. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders, and it may be my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero. 
you might say. What? I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time, and I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I would say. <laughs> what a surprise. Circle, walk edge. So let me get this straight. No. You no. This is time for work, not also. To me, you get Clive to come to you. And I hope he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. <laughs> and you saw oh, this well? as a cunning plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil each. Uh, five million each. How they, the they fuck? The bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see. And, well, um, I must have made some Who sort put of this guy in charge of finances? Oversight. <sighs> Those ledgers were my responsibility. And it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? It sounds like a lot of money. It is. No, I don't even have don't. like no, half of no. a million. Gil. <laughs> Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the king's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're going to make this work. All right, but that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How'd you fancy taking these to Martha and the Dame? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something you know, it's a pretty fancy rock. When times got lean. <laughs> I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure there will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. Oh, it's got him getting you know, windy. In this place, orders to bark, asses to wipe, and all that. I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. <laughs> because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. Well, I suppose this is goodbye then. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm sure Karen will understand. No. Really? I don't Just understand how he could no. put us that much in debt. I don't. And not notice. There's talk of these skies driving me. Yeah, Karen. <laughs> um, where was I to go? Oh, I can't go anywhere yet. I have to talk to Otto for the main story. This is fine, don't worry. Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms at Mother Crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? <laughs> well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme until those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. 
Well, let's go talk to map lady. What's the bet map lady's gonna have some maps for us to look at? I bet. <laughs> pink redeem. Sure, I can I can change the pink. There you go. <laughs> Is it that mm. every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. Where is the Prince? Did we bring him back with us? My I'm not sure. Are stronger than <laughs> you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. Yes, Mary Pinko. Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting I'm not blue, I'm pink. Sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Oh, yeah. Map lady showing us the maps again. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that Oops. hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning a Kashik in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, oh. with magics as like to fail as I definitely function, haven't, like, made things better here by breaking the crystals. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Iron Heyar <laughs> has been sighted off storm. Thank you, Kitsune. Well, for the bitties. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> also, hi, Rachel. Thank you for the hydrate. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. <laughs> Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. Yeah, we've kind of fucked up the world here. It's uh, not looking good. <laughs> Things are pretty messed up. the skies is there anything you don't know lawsman yeah why is the sky all messed it doesn't up take a court astrologer to argue the obvious as for what has disturbed the heavens that i believe Ultima. is a question the fallen might be better placed to answer than i 
And on the sixth day did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters. But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> I mean, that's probably why the Fallen the rebelled against them. That could be said, now would he? Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Am I allowed to leave yet? No. <laughs> Game gives me side quests, then doesn't let me do them. Outrageous. Jill! Jill is back. Clive, we have a problem. Only one. That would be a first. <laughs> it would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cashier at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dallamil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... <laughs> it fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way. Ah. Oh. I can't do my side quest. <laughs> yeah. Any quests in those towns is 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 gone. Where is Christidia? Christidia. That's Sunbreck. That's Rosaria. It's also Rosaria. Slay elder antelopes in Cresedda. Cresedda? I'm not sure I know where that is. Here, I think? Yeah, I think it's here. But I have to do the main quest and save them first. Uh. Martha, it's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? <gasps> thank you for the redeem raid. Thank you, thank you. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Oh, it's Only pouring rain outside. To, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. 
What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. I thought you'd never offer. Why would you think where we I wouldn't you offer? Is the fallen gate. That's where the fight is <gasps> Thank you for my glasses, kids. Come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Now help me see in the battle to come. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. Mm -hmm. uh, pri prioritize quest. Prioritize quest. Unprioritize. Prioritize. There we go. <laughs> Fully equipped Foxy. Yes, so I got everything I need. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Them not. Not a chance. How do I get down there? Mm -hmm. made a mistake. I have made a mistake. I should have just gone through the main gate. Glasses are superior. They are pretty cute, I must say. No need to ride from here. They are exceedingly adorable. real question is, is pink superior or blonde? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I can go this way. I thought it was blocked off. Okay. Those are not wounded, those are enemies. We deal with the Akashic first. Waffle. I hate I hate fighting doggos. Understand. What am I to do? What should I do? Oh, I see. I get it. You have to like charge it up. It's over. That's cool. I like that. Sad woof. -woof. Yeah. Hi, Cal. How are you doing? You're up very early. How is your morning? These men don't have the look of hired swords. Oh well. Oh well. If you've come to rob this place, you are mistaken, my lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my lord. 
There wasn't Ka -da -ding. time for introductions. Ka -da -ding. We're with I'm the Rexy. guardians of the flame. Wait, man. But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? You know, it occurs to me, Rexy, do you ever actually Martha sleep? Because you you're always you're awake, awake every time I, I'm awake. You're like awake the whole time. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. <laughs> when did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. We have the, the same time zone, really? Them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! Oh. The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! Is it 4 10 p.m.? Uh, yeah, just about. We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Same time zone, nice to. Hi, Spectre. Welcome in. How are you doing? My dog. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. All good? Nice. We're having a chill Final Fantasy stream this afternoon. You saw a cute fox playing good game? Well, it is a Squire, good game. I, I can't to speak to the fox business. The <laughs> but what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. So wait. Where are the Akashic that were on their tail? Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it, we thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? How do I like the game so far? It's Thank awesome. You. I love it. Hence so why I'm playing it, even though I'm sick. Safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Danger turtle. Are you with us, Wade? Always. On then my ass. Ow. That's unusual. Ow. What is with this guy, this turtle? Give me a minute, I'm I'm charging up. This guy is, is very tough. You barely use Bahamut. I, I only just got Bahamut, so I might as well try it, you know? Ow, I'm the 
doing so bad against this thing. Oh, fuck. Thank you for the food, Siren. If I could charge this up faster, I bet it would be really good. It seems a bit slow. Oh my god, I hate this fucking tor tortoise. I was I was not sure that I'd be able to block that. Tortoise. Okay. Got him. <laughs> it took a while. I killed him. It's okay. How are you doing, Siren? You're making waffles. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Can I have some, some, some waffles? Or maybe a muffin. Muffin also sounds Is good. Hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Barely. Is one piece. Wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too Muffin Man to can't have any waffles, but I can have some hold. nice. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Before we leave, maybe we should get some potions. Because I just spent them all. There we are, a potion person. Can I have some some potions? Eye? Much obliged. Thanks very much. There you go. There you go. Thanks very much. I can't I can't do their accent. It's too too British for me. Boy. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. British. Exactly, Mary. Down in Cornwall or whatever it's called. I don't know why I'm getting my chocobo for such a short ride. <laughs> Literally, like, right there. I 
really hate this. Why did the chocobos have to be sick? I punch him in the bum. Jeez, my lord. Did I miss anything? Well, we haven't even made it out of the town, really. Shall we? these things they like teleport away so much and dodge I'm also not in a great way because I've only just started trying out Bahamut so I don't know how to use it properly Not a fan of those things. Big eyeball yokes. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, we didn't even make it from, to East Pool. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land. ...and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well... ...when you put it like that... ...of course they can stay. Oh, well, hopefully they don't need me to be here all the time then. I can do my side quests in peace. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh? Oscar, over here. Doesn't have a son, does he? <laughs> it is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? Oh, I wasn't goddamn. aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother... My father did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wade. It, 
If it please you, my lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would a learn squire? the of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I'm a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring <laughs> to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner I mean, this whole dark skies thing is somewhat my fault. <laughs> not that so Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. What am I to do with a squire? So you were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. <laughs> I would not have it any other way. Can I still not do the quest? I think I can, surely. Yes, I can. I can do at least that one. <laughs> I can't do any of the others. And some of your numbers, sir. Um, actually, let me just change my abilities because I don't, I don't really like that impulse ability as much as I thought I would. Um, maybe flare breath would be more interesting. Level up my limit break a bit. This thing could also be useful. I'll, I'll, I'll le learn that and see how I feel about the flame breath first. And that laser beam though, I definitely want to learn. Because that seems like really, really good. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go that way. Oh. I almost got kicked off my chocobo for going back into town. Can't have that. Everything's a cash out here. No holding back. But it's certainly quiet. If I were a giant antelope, you see my just <gasps> <laughs> Um This is pretty good. How long does it last for? It goes on so long. I doubt we'll find one bigger than that. Hungry toggle. I love the Phoenix ability though, it's so good. <laughs> Get him. You're 
finished. <laughs> Just fucking kick them. Now. Will it be enough, I wonder? <laughs> I say that answers my question. I can't Which believe we are the laws, our thanks. We like the only problem was he just wanted a bigger just treat. A big puppy, aren't you? <laughs> a very big puppy. <laughs> You know you can take that with you, Togo. Lady yeah. Karen will be relieved to hear you've got your appetite back. Come on, boy. We'll have to carry several of the uh, carcasses back with us. <laughs> mm hmm. Am I winning? Hopefully. I like to think so. You believe? Nice. It has gone really dark here. I remember it being sunny here last time I was here. Did. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. <laughs> Should I be worried? Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. Oh, so smart. I'm sure. <laughs> your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although you're a little late, they left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? What ah, did you say? I magic. didn't hear. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? You have to go shopping well, today, but you don't want to? Well, you gotta get, Sid. like, foods and stuff. You won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Suppose we just follow the shouting. You want to stay home and do nothing? Mood. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. <laughs> Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. I mean, they were talking. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. Arigato! Hello, thank you what for the you follow. Here? Welcome in. To ask you the same thing. Hope you enjoy your Costas stay. Is in chaos. 
and the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostnes. It's Where's these Kostnes? skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. Oh, cute emote. Hello, hello. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to How's your day, Skello? I hope so. For all you having a good Tuesday? So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if yeah, I should just that, kill the bandits. That would that solve the problem for both. Fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Uh, how I, how have I do? been? Uh, I, I'm a bit sick today. And that's why I'm a bit quiet and... Help. As Chill. Long as they are divided, <laughs> we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing I just it's like, it's wanted to play target. some Final Fantasy. Because <laughs> I didn't get to play it last Albedo night. I was too suggest. sick. Well, if it were my namesake, he'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other when all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits? It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, so basically Conrad use the money for food him of his and instead of I'll hiring people to fight, you fight yourself. As you wish. What if people are too afraid to do that? Most people here are traders. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along. What he means to say is yes. <laughs> Oh god, hang on. Just wait a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Sorry, I, was, I had a, a thing suddenly start auto playing on YouTube man. in the background. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Uh, who is it that Haven't we are looking for in fighting. here? Mm -hmm. My reputation will be ruined. 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 Calm yourself, Lord Ignac. I beg of you. Before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! You had the door open. I'm not even inside. I'm outside. Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time. 
And he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! <laughs> Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I am outside. Oh, you mean out outside. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Nobody has seen where the thieves went, or the bandits, or anybody. His lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamu is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence, and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to talk to some people. Now the music is very ominous. And ominous. And ominous. I mean, it may still be possible to buy something. Ah, here he is now. <laughs> Natalie. Allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Legends. Lord Underhill? Uh, Lord Underhill. <laughs> At your service. Underhill. I see he's not selling it very I well. Was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <laughs> He's putting on like a fancy it voice. Is Worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. That luck. To protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. <laughs> I don't you, think she believed nice. us. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. <laughs> I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. 
Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. It appears I have no choice but to do what mm -hmm. we need to talk to the other if person. I had my, pickaxe, I would... my shop. It's a shame this place has been ransacked. It was really nice when we were last here. Ah, here she is. Lady of the Spear herself. Comrade, what? May I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary guild in the Free Cities. A pleasure, my lady. The Red Wings? A Final okay, Fantasy IV mind. reference? <laughs> As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra to inquire about a contract. Victor says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire, is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses? There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. If it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad? Are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? That a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. He's very angry. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you call the brightest candle in the crypt. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well, well played, my lady. He's better, she's better than uh, he is. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it will be the bandits. <gasps> Hi, Arthur. Who found my scouts. Thank you for the hydrate. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. It's fine, we can kill these bandits. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. <laughs> but what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes I concede are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Ah, they then got it this. It will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. You're out here working in the sun, so feel like a boiled egg. Oh, you're working outside. That is that is no fun. How am I today? I am doing better than I was last night, uh, but I'm still not a hundred percent. Unfortunately. Mm. What noise? Things happening. Thank you for the stretch, Arthur. Mm. <sighs> Where are these bandits? 
<laughs> the women folk have come to fuck us. I'll take that one. It's all yours. I didn't manage to catch them all. You know, this ability would be great if I could, like, do something while I was in this form. some for Mega Flare? Sure. What should I be doing with Mega Flare to make it like more awesome or Shifted so early. I needed that. See, I'm not exactly sure how to use Bahamut right now. I only just caught it. can explode the energy balls if you summon them before. I see. And you don't use it much either. It's too slow for you. Yeah, I find it pretty slow so far. But I'm trying to give it a chance because I didn't like Titan at first either. But I've grown to quite like it. I just don't know how to fit it into my current build, if that makes sense. Using the satellites is fun. You become a turret. I see. I see. The townspeople. Could they have held out? I, I can try the I turrets. What do you think? That we should hurry. Giga Flare is awesome. That's the ultimate, I think. Yeah, I, I do want to. I do want to get that once I have enough points. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost oh, had you not It got slightly line. sunnier. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved You're grateful Conrad. for the free respects? It was a good quality of life choice? 
Is there a free respec? Conrad seems to have had Thank a you for the headpats, read, Joel. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. You Did got he? to go? No problem. Thank you so much. It. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. We can reset skill points anytime, skill by skill or all of them. Skill by skill sounds nice. That is all that matters. If that's the case, then I might you fight, reset the Ramu that. one, because I never use it. I'll take that as a compliment. <gasps> Cal, no, why, why, why are you using that redeem? <laughs> How could you... Hang on, let me get my drink. Sip. I see how it is. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> oh, thank you for the hydrate. Oh, well. <laughs> Making sure I'm I'm not getting thirsty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that emote? <laughs> Run like the wind. Um oh, I was gonna look at the things worth night. Um, so you say I can reset, um, reset. Well, that's awesome. I can use that to get this. Promotes experimenting is really nice. Yeah. I like it. Um. And see, it says the length of casting determines the potency, but if you don't get the even one, it doesn't seem to really do anything. Like, who has time to just be sitting there, waiting for it to count up? Like, it'd be different if you could, like, do these other attacks, like... Impulse or Flare Breath while you're charging it. That would be awesome. But I don't think it's very good how it feels. It's very tricky to use. Like, all you can do is stand there and dodge for ages. It's not really for me. I love Flames of Rebirth. It's awesome. Not worth the effort? Yeah, I don't think it's worth the effort. Let me equip that other ability, though. Um, question is, what do I get rid of for it? Maybe thunderstorm. And see how that goes. I mean, once I've mastered them, I don't need to use Bahamut at all. To access like Giga Flare. But it's very expensive to master an ability like that. God, the game looks so gloomy now because of the, the clouds. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder what, where, where, where is uh, Bahamut and Joshua? Where did we bring them? <laughs> did we not bring them back to base? I haven't seen them. Thanks, girl. Hello, friends. Let me try this new ability on you. Oh my god, that aim is very sensitive. Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off. Ow. Oh, you missed, dude. Very nice. Oh, I sh messed that up. I messed up. No. That was good. I like that. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Delamil. How do we carry all this stuff? Like, I can only carry like five, six potions. Yeah, I can carry all this junk. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. It's in my back pocket, of what course. What do I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. Wyvern? A formidable name, indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. wonder where he got that Redimia out of. Redimia tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right. Speak. That was his name as an imperial Wyvern, soldier. Oh, okay. About a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that. <laughs> it was made in the outer isles, far beyond the twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of, course, of a unique on some islands probably to the east they believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades is mentioned twice during the intro that was a long time ago <laughs> i have a bad memory okay for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only they crack upon a second blow there's a brutal sort of beauty to it really but how did they hone such an edge? <laughs> a fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. 10,000 licks with the sharpening stone, then 10,000 more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. So basically, we can't it do it. to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered. Take this, together with my regards. 
the very stone of which I spoke. Oh, far that works. rarer among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival <laughs> collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider mine. Oh, nemesis, Byron, no. Lord Byron <laughs> Rosfield. And is a Good thing we didn't tell him our name. In my side. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. What an interesting pair. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. <laughs> now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Mm -hmm. uh, off to where next? Over here next. First we find Isabel. I heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts in the past. I saw it with my own eyes. I mean, this place is surely a lot more secure than the other place. Rexy. Yes, sir. I can't do it. What's up? You cute. Ah. <gasps> Aww. Thank you. Lord, milady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A kashik, but different. A kashik, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. More arrived from the capital this morning. The two soldiers were carrying... That guy looks like he's just a posing. <laughs> Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more? Oh, they haven't heard. <laughs> I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection, and protect them I shall. Because they are my charges, and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's <laughs> talk about this over a drink, eh? 
Sure, that's the solution. Get drunk. I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And I mean, you were the last on my list. My it was hardly quick. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Mm-hmm. Guys, is like sitting here with his arm what bleeding. Happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Leave that to us. My family. That thing, it took off the captain's head. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I... They came out of nowhere. They went for Josie first, then me, and then... Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Oh, God. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. It's a shame we don't spend much time in Oriflam. It's a pretty cool looking city. It was all they could do to escape. Come on. This reminds me a lot of in Final Fantasy XIV. In uh, in the first, when the sky was just filled with light, very similar situation. Clive, look! I see them with me. Oh, all yours, Torvald. Should you prime? No. Don't be ridiculous. Kill this thing first.
did manage to dodge it that time. Okay, dude. got away. <laughs> Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. Alright, is the little town next to us, right? Here, safe? I mean, I never liked them anyway. They heat branded, but still. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts, for now at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly <laughs> didn't hurt. <laughs> it's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit, but whatever it takes. It's like on a super. <laughs> now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the one standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Dude, not the time to be risen up. If you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that's what you'll be doing now. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one. And that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Mm -hmm. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. Nice, still not do this, good, Captain. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> At least I can turn in these two. Noticed you and Toga had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did you? <laughs> I mean, we always go off places. So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? <laughs> well, teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. All right, all right. No he needs need to big shout. bones. He's a big boy I don't now. I know what you're after. I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? Mm. 
You can, eh? I'm nice like that. <laughs> she likes Torkel. You can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know it all. <laughs> I was just on my way to see him. Was I? Well, I'll go see him in a minute. Sorry for the wait. But hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. I... a whetstone? Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. No wonder I couldn't get the same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. <laughs> so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. Ah, uh, I got it. it. An so edge. The right kind of steel. I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattle me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Oops. Nah. No oh. one trying to copy that thing. Primal Genesis? A spell cast by Ultima that casts a roiling pall over all of Valestia. The unbalance in ether that resulted not only sapped the potency of the crystals and the magic in those lands, Abba filled the rest with uh, glowing thralls, but ether floods as well. I see. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. Nah. I'll make something much better. Nice. I'm sure the curse breakers will be delighted. I would also like something nice. Don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> Don't you worry about me, sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still <laughs> be here when you're long gone. Hey, thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August too. I mean, it's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my. I mean, my current paid. sword looks kind of blunt. It's got your name on it. Doesn't look very sharp. You'll find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Excalibur design draft. Is that my ultimate weapon? Seems a bit early for an ultimate weapon. What are the materials? Probably hunt related things. So would it be? Wait, what? It's weaker than what I have. It needs a Grimalkin hide. A Grimalkin hide? I assume I can find that on one of the hunts based on the symbol. Mm -hmm. And? Well, maybe that sword is better once you, like, make it and then upgrade it? Maybe? I don't know. Possibly. The storm's already here. <laughs> ah, Clive. Were you able to locate your quarry? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. <laughs> very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah. But that reminds me. 
After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Do you recall oh. our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? About how she somehow woke the power within him? Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you describe Torgal as having used. What are you suggesting? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Consider that in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sith. Explains the lightning Short, and stuff. The icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty. And that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. He's family. Keep an eye on the clock. I have to get dinner eventually. Was wondering when you turn up. Hellos from all our friends thanking you for your time <laughs> intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Ah, Luck, I suppose. game writing. <laughs> a word on the rest of the realm. Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos, and the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So, <laughs> right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now, I mean, this was a whole ultimate. Second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. <gasps> Thank you, nice, sir. Hang on, let me close my door. Oh, it's getting very noisy outside. Oh, there's, there's some. Um, oh, it was not Sylvester, but thingy. Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when um... Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed, but now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Yeah, you shouldn't been hiding so much. Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. 
Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I mean, he says that it is a vessel. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I, to I mean, he's tried. I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him. Before I meet my own. Ideally, before you meet your own, yeah. Thinking. It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. <laughs> that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. <coughs> Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. But hang on, we got a problem here. There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. Well, what's the short of it? Brutal. Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard Where are the free cities? To stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian. What's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question. Oh, map lady and her maps. Look here. This road through Tabor should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, <laughs> bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. You were literally just like Stand vomiting blood. I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separate. All right, we travel together. Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. I mean, you did rip his throat out once. When you are next to each other. Ah. 
got a ringing in my ear. Mmm, <laughs> like a malkin. That's what I needed. The cattery of Endelmechia. The cattery. I can't really go anywhere else right now. Um, I probably don't have time to do the main quest either. Okay, I I think I'll just take a break. I pity those. My ears villages. are ringing anyway. What? You give me sore sore head, so I'll cut while I'm ahead. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. He's got his own little pixel. Nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right, though. Mm -hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. How do I? I don't know. I can't get rid of my controller. <laughs> my 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 fucking thing isn't working. <laughs> I hate Bluetooth so much. It's so stupid. Um. Yeah. I, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling not great, but still, I have fun. Hope you guys did too. I'm gonna go get some more rest, and then hopefully I can have some dinner afterwards. Uh, that is the hope, anyway. Uh, do we want to raid anyone? Is there anyone even around at this hour? Maybe. <laughs> Mari is playing Final Fantasy 15. Let's go over there and say hi and give them a nice, nice hello and follow and everything. Thank you everyone for joining and thank you to everyone new that came along and thank you Spectre for all the advice as well. I appreciated it. Um, it was very, very nice of you. Uh, but yeah, I shall hopefully Play some more on Friday. I'll be hopefully feeling better by then so I can play for longer <laughs> without any problems. And uh, yeah, and hopefully as well I'll be streaming on Thursday on YouTube if you want to join for that as well. I'll play a bit again soon on, on Thursday just to get some of the event stuff down. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining. Have a good evening and good days wherever you are. Love you all. Mwah. Bye. -o.